Hello and welcome. If you've been following Microsoft Fabric Steam's releases, they released another new feature called Fast Copy. Now, Fast Copy is a feature that's in public preview and it's part of Dataflow Gen 2. Now, with Dataflow Gen 2, we know that we can transform data at scale, that's terabytes or more of data. But before we transform data, it has to be first loaded or ingested. Now, this is where Fast Copy comes into the picture. Now, before Fast Copy was available, if I had to load data at scale, I would use data pipeline. So if you see the top flow, I would load data from my data source using data pipeline into a stage table, into lake house, and then use Dataflow Gen 2 to transform the late data and then load it back into the lake house or warehouse, wherever my destination is. Now with the availability of fast copy, I can perform both the data ingestion and transformation within Dataflow at scale, right? And I do not need a data pipeline anymore. And in fact, fast copy uses the copy activity, which is part of data pipeline. Now, of course, fast copy is in public preview and it supports only a limited number of data sources. As you can see, it's mostly Azure data sources, ADLS Gen 2, Blob Storage, Azure SQL, Lakehouse, and Postgres SQL. And within this, if it's a file type, only CSV and Parquet are supported with and for data flow or fast copy to be enabled, it has to be a minimum of 100 MB. Similarly with Azure SQL, it has to be a minimum of a million rows. And with transformations as well, there is a limited number of transformations that are supported. These are pretty basic transformations, combining files, selecting, removing, and uh, renaming columns and changing data types. Now, to, now if I have a lot more transformation that needs to be done, what I have done is I connect to the, I use a query, with fast copy enabled to ingest the data in the Dataflow Gen 2. And I use a second query within the Dataflow which references my first query. Uh, and the second query does not use fast copy. And I can perform all the transformations in my second query. Then once the transformations are done, I can move the data to Lakehouse or whatever my sync is. Let's take a quick look at how to configure fast copy. Now I'm in my Dataflow Gen 2 here. And the top query here, stage weather data, connects to an Azure SQL data source and pulls in about two to three million rows of data. And all it does is just ingest the data. And to enable fast copy, I need to go to options, scale, and allow the use of fast copy connectors. That will enable fast copy for any query within this data flow. And if I want to force a particular query to always use fast copy, I can right click and say require fast copy, which forces fast copy to be used every time that query is executed. And my second query here references the first query. So as you see, it references the first query and then I perform certain transformations. And then once that's done, I can use the destination to move the transform data into my sync. Now, if I want to validate if fast copy was used for a particular query, I can go refresh history, go to the particular table. And if you notice the engine here, it says copy activity, which means fast copy was used. The copy activity, which is the underlying activity that's used for fast, uh, fast copy was used here. So we got a, a kind of overview of what fast copy is. And you know we know this product is in public preview right now. And this is my wish list. Before it goes GA, I would like to see a lot more data sources supported, primarily on-premises data sources. Most of my customers or clients have their data on-prem and we need a fast way to move it into Fabric. Now, also, it'll be nice if all the transformations are supported, not just the basic ones. And the third thing on my list is more, not just for fast copy, but for Dataflow Gen 2 in, as a whole, to use incremental refresh if that if these features are available by GA, that will be really amazing. Now, those were my thoughts with regards to fast copy. And as usual, if you've got any questions or comments, reach out to us at obvians.com.